Hey everyone, welcome to Our Kids Online. We are so excited that you're joining us today. We have a very special video for you and I'm so excited for you guys to check it out. As you all know, school is right around the corner and I wanna take this opportunity to pray for all of you who are about to start school and also for all of you who are going into first grade and for those of you who are moving into sixth grade. So let's close our eyes and focus on praying together. Dear God, thank you for being so loving and for all the things that you have taught us about you today. Right now, I wanna lift up in prayer everyone who's about to start school. God, you know all of the different challenges that each of them are facing. You know that there are things that they are going to miss and also new things that they've never faced before. I pray that each student would take courage and seek out the good things and not focus on the things that will be difficult for them. God, I pray that they would talk to you about anything that's making them feel sad or frustrated or anxious. I pray that you would give them your strength, keep them safe, and help them to encourage others who may be going through the same things as them. God, we pray for every teacher and thank you for them. We pray that they will rise to the challenges that they are going to face this school year. We pray that they would be safe and have wisdom as they learn new ways to teach each student. God, we also wanna pray for our parents and those who take care of us. Thank you so much for putting them in our lives. We pray that they would not be overwhelmed and that you would help them find time to rest. We pray that you would provide for all of their needs and that they would put their trust in you. God, I pray that you would help all of the students, teachers, and parents be safe, have hope, and stay focused on you. Guide each of us to all the good plans that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What is up, our kids? My name is Adam. I serve with the Elevate Youth Team here at Church of the Redeemer. And I wanted to offer congratulations to all you fifth graders who, are, who will be sixth graders in the fall. Um, and I also wanted to invite you to our Wednesday night e-groups and our Sunday morning messages on our, our YouTube channel, Elevate Youth DMV. Uh, welcome to Elevate. Congratulations on making it to middle school. And we are so excited to have you part of the Elevate family.
move your feet, clap your hands. Now turn, turn, turn to the beat. Praise God now and move your feet. One arm forward, elbow up high. Come on, y'all. Let's ride. I won't stop the praising my God. He's better than good. Won't stop. Cause I'm gonna praise God everywhere Now wait till the people standing over there Do I look like a fool? I don't care Lean back, give God the glory Lean, lean, yeah, that's the story Start a more and say a prayer Cause I'm gonna praise God everywhere I won't stop for praising my God He's better than good Won't stop Good to be back with you on this special weekend. You know, on my way here, I had a little craving. So I stopped and I got a box of these. Now, I don't eat donuts that often, but when I do, mm, 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 mm. I bet you like donuts too. So what kind do you like? Do you like the glazed donuts? You know, the kind with the sugar all over them? Or maybe the chocolate frosting or Perhaps ones that have the little sprinkles on them. Okay, I have a little confession. I already ate one. Okay, I ate two. Ugh, and oh, they were really, really, really good. And as I was enjoying my donuts, I remembered a little donut rhyme that I heard somewhere. It goes something like this. As you go through life, make it your goal to look at the donut and not the hole. So as I was finishing my third donut, <clears throat> I started thinking about what that little rhyme means. And our Bible memory verse came to my mind. Psalms 118, 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, sadly, people go through life and they only notice the things that are missing. And they really pass over the good things that are right there in front of them. Today, you're going to meet a young lady who is going through a hard time, similar to what we all may be experiencing at this time and this season. Let's check it out. I don't want to be homeschooled. It's so boring. I'm sorry, sweetie. We'll try to make the best of it. Let's look at the positives of this situation. Mom, stop. There's nothing positive about this situation. Just leave me alone. I can't believe this is still going on, and just when I thought things were going back to normal. Yeah, I know, right? I don't think I can take another semester at home. This is a nightmare. I don't care what my mom says. There's nothing good about this. Daddy, lights out. We to start tomorrow. Ugh, gotta go. Call me tomorrow. Okay, bye. Wow. 
Our new friend Maddie seems to have had a rough day. I'm sure we can all relate, right? So when we say day, what kinds of days can you name? Let's see, there's birthdays, school days. Oh, I love beach days. And days at the pool. Did anyone say sick days? Those aren't so much fun, are they? Thunderstorm days, well, they can be a little scary. How about quarantine days? Yeah, I know. But some of my favorite days are family days. But whatever day it is, whether it's a sad day or a happy day, it's good to always remind ourselves, Psalms 118.24, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hmm, that can be easier said than done, right? Okay, let me ask you a question. Who made today? If you said God, that's correct. Who made yesterday? God, that's right. Who makes the fun days? Right again, God. What about the sad days? Does God even make those days? Yes, God makes every day. Come on, Mom, five more minutes. Come on, kid, wake up. Wake up. Ah! Ah! You gotta wake up, Mom. I'm in the house. Shh, stop screaming. It's okay. I'm a friend. I'm a friend. You look familiar. Do I know you? I told you. I'm a friend. I actually know you fairly well. Really? Prove it. Well, your favorite food is pineapple and ham pizza. That's public knowledge. Everyone knows that. All right, then. Your best friend is Connie. Again, public. Tell me something that no one knows about. All right. You keep your teddy under your bed so no one knows you still play with him. Who are you? Not now, Maddie. I'll tell you when it's time. But right now, I have a message for you. How do you know my name? I told you. I'm a friend and I have a message. Where are you from? Not where. When? What? I'm sorry. I, I mean, I've traveled a very long distance to give you this special message. It'll all make sense later. Trust me. Are you an angel or something? Or something. You look like me. Really? Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, so what's the message? Sit. Sit down. Okay, I'm sitting. All right. Psalms 118.24. Huh? Look it up. This is the day the Lord has made, and we must rejoice and be happy with it. Yes, yeah, so? I don't see anything good about this day or this time. I just want things to go back to the way they were. You know, Maddie, I understand exactly how you're feeling right now. Believe me, I do. I was miserable for a whole year. All the anger inside me, it just continued to got me in trouble. Nothing got accomplished. Well, almost nothing. But I did learn from it, and that's why I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Look, Maddie, this is the day the Lord has made. It's not a question. The question is, what will you choose to make of this day? You see, God hasn't decided what we're gonna do with this day or this season. You're not some type of robot. He gives us a gift of free will to choose and wants us to make the most of every opportunity. Look, I don't see these opportunities. I know how you feel, believe me. But every day, God gives us opportunities. This day, this problem, this conversation, this season at home learning? What are you gonna do with it, kid? How are you gonna learn and grow from this? I don't know, you tell me. You asked Jesus into your heart, right? Well then trust him. The Holy Spirit is your helper and he gives you strength and he guides you. Keep your Bible, your Bible app open and read it every day. There are so many promises in that book, girl. For example, Jeremiah 29 11 says, for the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Look, kid, God loves you and he's in control. So let's choose to look at things differently, not the negative stuff, okay? Start looking at situations with eyes of curiosity and ask God, what do you want me to learn from this? 
And it's okay to look to the future, but you've got to live in the present and know that God has something for you today. If you're always looking for something else, you're going to miss the blessing he has for you today. Wow, that's really good. Ooh, think about it. You look like you're tired, so I'm going to go ahead and head out, okay? Yeah, I have an early start tomorrow. You know, I kind of like you, even though you're a little bossy. So can you come back sometime? Yeah, kid. Sure. Make sure you lock the window when you leave. I don't even know your name. My name is Martha. Good night, Maddie. Night, Martha. Ooh, that's my name, too. You know, Martha's pretty smart, and what she said about God having something good for us today is so true. Remember, God loves you and wants his best for you. He wants you to understand that today matters, that every season matters, and wants to use this time right now to teach you, to train you, to prepare you for the future that he has for you. So if you're feeling disappointed and sad and even angry right now, it's okay and understandable. But don't stay there. Talk to a trusted adult about your feelings and talk to God. Remember what we've learned about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in you and me and gives us strength. He gives you courage and he's your guide. So let him guide your thoughts. Like Martha said, look at our situation, our season, our day with eyes of curiosity, asking God, what do you want me to learn from this day? I love what Philippians 1, 6 says, God who began a good work within you will carry it to completion until the day when Christ returns. Have you ever heard the word gospel? Gospel means good news, and it is a message about Christ, the kingdom of God, and salvation. And it is as simple as A, B, C. A, admit. Admit to God that you are a sinner. B, believe in your heart that Jesus alone saved you through what he's already done on the cross. Ask God to forgive you of your sin. Turn from self and sin and turn to Jesus. C. Confess. Tell God and others that your faith is in Jesus. Now, if you've never prayed to accept Jesus into your life and you want to make that decision today, then take the hand of your parent or the adult with you right now. Close your eyes, bow your head, and say this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I know that I have sinned and made bad choices that have made you sad. I'm sorry for the things I've done. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Please forgive me and come into my life today and be my friend. In Jesus' name, amen. If you made the decision to accept Jesus into your life, we are so excited for you. Be sure to have the adult who's with you Text the word KID, K-I-D, to 313131 so we can get connected with you. Thank you all so much for being here today. Make sure you check out our slides at the end to see all the ways you can get connected. We hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week for another Our Kids Online. <laughs>